So people ask me quite frequently, is this a recession? Is it going to be a depression? Do I have to deal with furloughs or layoffs of employees? Or what does it mean for my family? Or what does it mean for my home? And what am I going to lose? And those are very understandable conversations. But you know that it's a slippery slope to go down. It doesn't mean they're not real. But the question is, what do we do in light of those fears and those concerns? So I often say to people, don't wait for good news. Make good news. And well, I'm asked how to do that. Well, look at life near term, which is what we're dealing with here. Suppose you took two 90-minute blocks and you make a plan. Many of you have heard me say that life doesn't go anywhere without a plan, but even with a plan, it doesn't go to a plan. But most importantly, you have to be thinking about what you want to get to. I suggest two 90-day plans. Have a best case, a medium case, and a worst case scenario. I would work backwards from the worst case scenario to today and ask what do I have to do to do everything in my power to make sure that that doesn't come to fruition. Same for the medium case, but also what can I do to make the best case possibly come together given what I can control. Now in those two 90-day segments, I'd break them down. The first 90, I'd look at 30 days. What do I want to see accomplished in that 30 days? I break it down to each of the four weeks, and then I break it down to a day. And if need be, and this has been a case that's been most important to me, I need to break it down by day. How am I thinking about things in the morning? What am I checking in on at noon? And by the end of the day, what have I accomplished? What do I want to lean into the next day? What did I learn? And most importantly, what am I grateful for?